Hello friends, welcome back to CatPlanes. Today we are going to construct a toy plane in Autodesk Kinetor software. In this tutorial, we are going to make multiple parts. So this will be the first part. We will start from the fuse lag, which will be the body of the toy plane. Okay. When I double click this, so you can see the complete part. Okay. Now return to the assembly. Now go to new. Take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch. We will select the XY plane. Take the line command. From this center point, we will start. Make this profile. Make here now straight. And here we will make a straight line and join it to this point. Okay. Go to vertical constraint, select this point. Now go to dimension. Define this height as 22. Okay. Now define this as 27. Okay. Define this as 25. And define this total as 206. And this straight length will be 76 mm. Okay. So this will be the final profile. Finish sketch. Here take revolve. And this will be the revolving axis. Now press OK. So this will be the base. Now here go to fillet. Take fillet radius of 5 mm. Go to edge selection. Select this and select this. Press OK. Now here, origin and select the XY plane. Go to create sketch. <coughs> Go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Or you can do one thing, change it to shaded with edges. So you will be able to see the inner profiles also. Go to sketch. Here go to rectangle and take center point slot. Place one center point and make a slot. Okay. Now go to dimension. Define the radius as 4. Okay. And scale. Now here we have a complete movement. Okay. So this is the slot profile. Now here go to coincident. Select this end point and select this end. Okay. You have to select this yellow point. So I'll again. Take coincident constraint, select this point, I will rotate the profile and select this yellow point. Okay, so the location is fixed, go to front view. Now here, click here on this profile outer face and select here. Now escape. So this was also coincident. Finish sketch, extrude, here take symmetric and I will take cut. And for distance, I'll take all. So this will be a through cut. So this is just a slot. Press OK. Rotate the profile. You can see the profile. Now I want similar cut this side as well. So go to circular pattern. Go to extrude one, rotation axis, and select this profile. Here we'll take a count of four, and same profile will be generated here. Press OK. OK. Now here, go to assembly 1, I will double click this. Now we have completed this profile, ok. Now we are going to make this whole profile and the other cut profiles. Go to part 1, <coughs> rotate the profile. Now here, select this face, go to create sketch. Take point command and place one point on the center. Finish sketch. Here, take the whole command. I'll take here the counter bore. Seat will be counter bore, and the hole type will be a simple hole. Here, we'll take distance, and the drill point will be the angle. Okay. Now, here the C bore dia will be of 30, and the depth of C bore will be 18. And the total depth will be 38. 
and the bottom dia will be of 12 mm and this will be the angle 118 mm the drilled angle press ok ok whole profile is created now we are going to make the other profiles go to assembly I'll rotate the profile now we have made a cut profile for this wing assembly ok go to home rotate it and select this corner edge ok go to part 1 now here again select the xy plane go to create sketch here take the slot and take two point rectangle make one profile here go to dimension define the width of 60 ok and the distance from here will be of 16 mm ok and the height will be of 5 mm now escape now you can see this is fully constrained sketch I will drag this up to make the sketch more clear finish sketch take extrude here I will take symmetric and here I will take cut the distance will be all so this will be a through cut press ok rotate the profile you can see a cutout profile now select this edge take radius here the radius will be of 5 mm rotate here also 5 mm radius press ok ok now select this face go to create sketch here take the circle command make one circle here of dia 6 similarly one circle here of dia 6 ok go to dimension from this edge this will be 46 mm ok now scale now here go to vertical constraint select this point and select this point so they are vertically aligned go to line command here select this green point and make a center line escape select this line make it construction go to dimension from center line this distance will be 10 similarly this distance from center line will be 10 finish sketch take extrude select both the profiles flip the direction to cut so it will change to cut and the depth of cut here will be of 12 press ok ok so they are for the mounting of the bottom profile ok <coughs> now go to home now go to assembly 1 now we have made the bottom cut now we are going to construct this top cut this will be the pilot seat go to part 1 ok and here go to xy plane go to create sketch take rectangle command two point rectangle make the rectangle profile here go to horizontal constraint or first go to project geometry project this line ok go to horizontal constraint select this point and select this so this line will be up to this level go to dimension define this distance here of 18 ok the distance from here will be 20 and the total distance of this width will be 50 ok now this is fully constrained finish sketch extrude symmetric and here take all and take here cut press ok ok now here take fillet take fillet radius of 10 select this edge rotate select this edge and press ok ok now we are going to make the cutout for the pilot area select this face go to create sketch here take the circle command make one circle here of diameter 24 go to dimension here from this edge 
define the distance as 45 okay double click make it proper 45 45 okay go to the horizontal constraint select this point and here select this point finish sketch extrude flip the direction and here take depth of cut as 16 and press ok okay here define the appearance i'll take the canary color so this will be of yellow color and i'll change the view go to view visual style change it to shaded edges okay so the inner edges are hidden now now here the most important thing is to save these parts as we are going to make the assembly now go to save so i have already made a folder of previous assembly i'll come outside and make a new folder and make it as assembly folder assembly toy plane okay so this will be the part one <coughs> so i'll make it one and the part name will be fuse plane okay and save okay save it again so this will be the final part now we are going to make the other parts as well in the next video you will find the next part okay so i hope you like the video for the complete assembly please keep watching thank you